I should preface my my comments by saying that there are no uh, good actors in the governance, the split governance of uh, Sudan at the moment. Both General uh, Al Burhan and General Dagalo, otherwise known as Hameki, have been accused of authoritarianism, uh, war crimes, and abuse of power. And uh, both of their uh, governments have been uh, sanctioned by uh, various parts of the international community, which has tried to bring the war in Sudan, uh, a civil war in Sudan to an end. But Iran sees in all of this an opportunity uh, in three ways. The first is generally uh, advance uh, in, its influence in Africa, in particular in Horn of Africa, which is of strategic importance to Iran. Uh, it has had established communities in West Africa, in West African countries, which it tried to uh, build and create militias, and it has tried to convert uh, Sunni Muslims to um, Shia Islam and to create basis of support of Hezbollah. And so it has been advancing its um, strategy by aligning with uh, different governments in Africa, and uh, Sudan is just the latest. Um, the second concern is, of course, financial. By selling uh, by selling drones to Sudan, Iran is filling up its own war chest and its own coffers and supporting its own uh, its own agendas and goals and simply making money, but also advancing its military uh, influence in uh, ensuring that Iranian drones gain the reputation, the renown, and create a base of uh, business for the future. The third important strategic goal is an interest in a naval base and has approached uh, Sudan with a, uh, with a request to build such a base, which would give Iran easy access to the, um, to the Red Sea and uh, to, the, uh, 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 to the nearby waters. Iran needs that access to establish itself as a major naval uh, power uh, to grow from being a, a middle power. Uh, that is exporting influence to an established uh, influencer in Africa and also uh, the portion of the Middle East most connected to Africa. It also would give it easier access for uh, uh, for operations in the nearby Somalia and for exportation of weapons and supplies to Houthis in Yemen. However, there are limitations to this cooperation uh, because uh, Sudan has denied uh, this request by Iran. Uh, the limitations uh, probably stem from two reasons. First, uh, uh, first, the pressure from the international community, including and especially uh, the United States, which has uh, looked at with disapproval on uh, these developments. And second, the fact that Sudan uh, understands the dangers of inviting Iran as a major naval power to its own territory and ceding uh, sovereignty to its um, establishment of a base with unpredictable or rather predictable and dangerous uh, consequences of uh, potential uh, additional escalations and uh, threats to maritime security. So for that reason, there are limits to how far Sudan can go, but Iran has been pushing for normalization with Sudan on par with these tactical developments, just as it has been pushing for normalization with Egypt and successfully pushed for norm normalization uh, with the GCC, uh, with those members of the GCC, which did not already have uh, formal relations with Iran since 2016. Uh, so it has been advancing diplomatic goals as well as military and larger uh, political and economic incentives in that respect. Uh, now, in terms of um, in terms of Islamism, uh, it is not accurate to say that Al Burhan himself is a Muslim Brotherhood member, or that for that matter he supports the Muslim Brotherhood. However, he is willing to allow elements of the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, which surrounded. Uh, the previous uh, the previous dictator Al Bashir and who had been imprisoned to return to power as a way of guarding against the pressure to create um, a civilian transitional government and also against his rival uh, the Gallo 
uh, Hamati, the head of RSF. So essentially, it is not an ideological move, but a power play move. However, um, with the return of the Islamists uh, erases some of the advantages uh, previously uh, held by Sudan. Uh, there has been a relaxation of sanctions. There has been uh, um, an opportunity for the growth of the civil society and for more secular uh, policies and uh, a move away from the extremism that had invited terrorist organizations into Sudan previously. Uh, the bitter rivalry and the civil war and the invitation of the Muslim Brotherhood elements into the government re-legitimizes them at the expense to all these things gained by the overthrow of al-Bashir and rewards Sudan to uh, to part of the position it held previously. Just how much power they managed to obtain in the course of the war remains uncertain. It is very clear uh, that, of course, they are using this whole situation to their advantage. Third, uh, with respect to Egypt's uh, relationship uh, with uh, Sudan, uh, Egypt's interest in this matter uh, is st its own stability. It had obviously preferred um, the previous course uh, before the elements of Islamists ha had uh, entered the picture because Egypt is, has had a long-standing uh, crackdown on the Muslim Brotherhood. And while Iran has been pushing for normalization with Egypt directly, that is, it has been a very difficult path due to the suspicion of Iran and its previous open support of the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt. However, uh, uh, Egypt finds RSF's actions destabilizing. It does not trust militias to govern uh, any parts of the country, and it wishes to see a unified uh, and stable Sudan, especially in light of the border-related tensions, especially due to the concerns about access to natural resources such as uh, gold, and especially uh, given the fraught situation with the nearby Ethiopia and uh, Egypt's uh, tensions with Ethiopia over uh, Nile access and the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. So uh, Egypt's interests here are entirely pragmatic. It is uh, not necessarily a supporter of everything that the Sudanese government is doing, including um, uh, the the defense uh, uh, trade with Iran, the purchase of the drones, but it does wish uh, to see its ally or a backer or um, a counter that is more willing to or seen as more willing to uh, provide for baseline security and stability that would not uh, essentially endanger Egypt's own borders. Egypt is fighting against assorted uh, extremist factions internally and does not wish to see uh, the flow of international uh, mercenaries and assorted destabilizing elements in Sudan join that particular fight.